y'all baddies so we're back with another video and today's video is going to be we're gonna call this like this sweet tooth colorful taste the rainbow hair i just gave it like three names but anyway so i'm going to be using supernova hair i have 613 body wave four bundles of 24 inches with a 20 inch frontal um i like four bundles because four bundles i just like that full look three bundles i'm not a fan um they also did give a choker I do have a video coming of how to, you know, make a wig to, with four bundles and a frontal. So I'm just showing y'all the lace and all that good stuff, good stuff. You guys definitely should look at the description below of my rating on this hair. Um, shedding, it did shed, minimal shedding, but tangling, it surely did tangle, you guys. Um, it felt like a rat's nest was like in the back of my neck. Like it was all fuzzy, which was very annoying. It was a bit dry, but the tangling of the hair did tangle to the point where it was irritating me. And it was just like, it, it's like hair that you got to walk around with a comb with. 24 7 continuously comb your hair. So they all like, you know... <sighs> It was so frustrating, y'all, because I liked it, the hairstyle, but the quality of, like, it tangling, I wasn't really here for it. Um, when constructing the wig, though, the wefts was easy to deal with, so I was able to flip them over, and they were, and it was super flat. I didn't really have any issues, but tangling was my main, like, issue with the hair. Shedding was minimum. It did shed, but it mainly shed because I was detangling, um, you know, all them damn knots that was in it, so... That was a turn off. I do, you know, think that supernova, you should, you know, improve your tangling. Okay, so boom, on to the coloring. So as you guys can see, I got a piece of paper and I was trying to figure out, you know, what was the order print I want to do of the, um, my hair. Low key, the rainbow don't got enough colors. Somebody need to invent some more colors, you know. It's just the basic primary color that you just got to figure out how to do different shades of type of thing. But I was in between the first one and then the bottom one. And I'm pointing you guys, I like the first one. Um, that's how I went about of getting the order of my hair because I didn't want it to be exactly like my, um, what is it called? Like unicorn hair. I didn't want it to be in that order, which is like kind of like the rainbow, but backwards in a sense. So yeah, um... So the colors you're going to be needing is Adore Hair Dye, Sunrise Orange, Ginger, Baby Blue, Sky Blue, Clover, Electric Lime, Purple Rage, Lavender, Hot Pink, and Pink Petal. So basically I have two colors, well two shades of each color that I'm using because I want it to go from more vibrant to a light. So vibrant to pastel. Um, you're also going to be needing some white conditioner. I'm using Cream of Nature Coconut Milk Conditioner. Okay, so you're going to need multiple mixing bowls. I had to use like styrofoam bowls after a while. But yeah, so first we're going to start off with doing the orange. So for the top colors, what I do is put the dye first, then the conditioner. And then as you guys are going to see for the bottom color, I'll put conditioner first and then put the dye. The reason I'm putting conditioner is because I want to be able to control and get the exact shade of the color that I want. So the conditioner, you can lighten it, you can soften it, you can like... I don't know how to explain it, but like conditioner helps. So if you want to pass that color, you could do a lot of conditioner, a little bit of color. If you want like a vibrant color, but to a certain like shade of the color that you want, you could add conditioner to lighten it up a little bit, depending on how dark or whatever the color is. So for the bottom orange, you can see I added the conditioner first, then I added some ginger and I just added it to get the shade that I wanted it. And that's how I went about that. So yeah, I would get questions like why I use conditioner. That's why I use conditioner. Hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, so I use conditioner to basically get the shade and control the hair of like what I want it to look like. Um, what else I was gonna say? Um, it just slipped out of my mind, y'all. Oh yeah, and the conditioner is good too because it moisturizes the hair and it makes it smell super, super good and it be soft until you know the hair actually shows its true colors or whatever. No shade, but shade. Okay, so boom. So you guys did see I had a napkin and I like did like a color test on the napkin to see how the transition was gonna be. Um, I definitely recommend that because that's how I was able to see, okay, I like this or it's too dark or I need to change this. So have paper towels and um, just, you know, do little test patch colors to make sure the transition is the way you like it. And if so, you just move on to the next color. So that's really all that is that I'm doing here. You guys could just watch me. It's pretty repetitive, but I'm going to show you guys, you know, each color and how I did it.
when you're doing these colors, please make sure, especially if you know you're not like a good colorist or you know this is kind of like your first time you're still a beginner and you know that you can't remake the colors that you just you know mixed up make sure you're um using more color like having making enough color mixture than um than needed it's better to have more than too little i run out but it's okay that i run out because i know you know i could go back and make some more um try not to you know overdo it because i did like waste a couple of the well i really kind of wasted the purple i made a lot of purple but um I had a little bit over of each color, but some colors, such as like the light blue and stuff like that, I did have to make extra for. So just, you know, make sure you're doing more than needed, but don't overdo it, you know? So that basically sums up the coloring process. I'm just showing y'all my little patch test of all five colors and so far looking good. Okay, so you do want to do this before you construct your wig because basically the only part that's getting dyed is the frontal. The back is going to remain 613, like the bundles is just going to remain blonde, but the frontal part is going to be dyed. So what I'm doing is I'm sectioning off a row of hair. Um, I kind of did too little. You might could do like a little more at more hair, but this section is um because I want to have that to cover the last track in the back. So the hair that I'm braiding up is going to be unbraided, and once the wig is constructed, that's going to be the hair to cover the last track of the wig that's made. Cause you need you know hair to cover the track. You don't want your blonde track showing. So that's why I'm doing that. And then I also did do sections, five sections braided them up of where each color was gonna go um you can like go up a little higher for like the sides like add more hair for this section because nine times out of ten you are gonna have to cut your frontal to match your ear tabs well to match your sideburns of where your ear tabs is so you're gonna be cutting off some of the color so if you want it to be exactly like the same amount of color for each patch make sure that you go up a little more for like the purple and the orange because i did you know cut some out um it wasn't as full as the blue the green and the pink um it wasn't like a issue but you know like for next time if i'm doing this for someone else or whatever etc i'll know you know what to do like you know when you're coloring you learn from your mistakes you learn different things like it's a test and trial you know most of the time it's gonna come out good but you know you're just going with the flow you know well for me that's how it is i'm people who color their hair i'm pretty sure they can relate because coloring is not like you it's not perfect you just go with it but then most of the time you come up with a nice like result for sure you know i'm trying not to get on um, dye on the lace i will show you guys there the lot the lace did get stained a little bit but not to the point where it ruined it and it had like purple scalp or whatever etc so just take your spoolie and do the roots take your time then you could take the brush to bring it down some and then for the um the pastel part you could take your other brush and then just blend it in make sure when you're blending your colors for the transitioning part you're going in an up and down motion and make sure that you're not leaving like a straight line you want the colors to flow it's going from vibrant to pastel you want it to be cute and lay like make sure when you're coloring you're going in up and down motions to, to transition the colors from vibrant to pastel I'm, I forgot to mention I'm using the aluminum foil so like the other colors don't like touch obviously I'm trying to separate them and keep them um, from touching each other I don't think it would have like bled onto the other colors but you'd rather be safe than sorry you don't want all your hard work going away and you got blue dye on the orange part and it was always supposed to be orange you know so just be better safe than sorry this did take me like almost two well i think it took me like two hours kind of like the same amount of time that it took me to do my unicorn hair i'm really not sure why it took so darn long like why did it take me so long to do this i don't know it just the results was cute though but i'm just like you know i was doing a full wig for my unicorn and this was just the frontal you know the frontal smaller i really don't know but it did take me about two hours so i'm just showing you guys the results i did let it sit overnight um i probably could have washed it out like the same night two three hours later but i rather my colors to stay and stick and i do my hair in advance i try not to do my hair the day of when i'm trying to put it in so i do my hair in advance and i let it sit overnight where i have time like i'm not in no rush so um after you let it sit you're just gonna rinse your hair out with cold water i try to do each section and then i was kind of like okay i'm about to just do all the colors in one i think did i do that i don't remember i'm talking before the clip even showed 
I think I still did do each section, but I did wash it all at once eventually. But yeah, so after you do that and you let your colors dry, I mean your frontal dry, you'll just go ahead and make the wig and then while I magic, do your styling however you want to do it. Colorful hair, don't care in my Nikki voice. It's the whole Barbie. But yeah, now I'm going to show you guys the lace and how it tinted a little bit. You know, I kind of put a little down on lace, but it's okay. You know, did anybody seen it? My colors look good, vibrant and pastel, you know, taste the flavor. What flavor do you want to taste, honey? I'm just kidding. Okay, y'all, so um, I just really just had a whole little ramp, 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 girl, what? Okay, so if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, you already know the deal to put that down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll check you guys out in the next one. Thank you.